Hey Libra, welcome back guys. I hope you all are doing well today. This is going to be for anybody with Libra placements in their chart. Make sure you all flip and switch the roles, take what resonates, leave what doesn't fit for your situation guys. Um, thank you guys for the love, the support, the donations. Truly appreciate you all very, very much. I'm sending you love, light, happiness, peace, and joy on your journey. Okay, anything you guys need to know about me is going to be down below in the description box. Okay. And um, please be aware of the fake pages on here and on any other social media platforms. Okay. So let's see, Libra. Let's see what's going on with you guys. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, gods and goddesses. Please return any spell work, any dark magic that is sent to harm the collective and their loved ones. Me and my loved ones will turn it back to the sender. What's going on here for Libra? Messages for Libra. Okay, so that flipped out in reverse. I'm going to take it that way. So it says moving, new house, relocating, leaving someone or something behind. Okay. Some of you guys could be trying to get a new home, but you're being um, held back for, it could be financial reasons. It could be you just your circumstances. Maybe you just can't move right now. For others of you, maybe somebody is not wanting to release you, not let you go. <laughs> okay, we have twin sister. Mm. Copying someone for their work ideas, how they dress, act, talk. Okay, what else? <laughs> A fan. <laughs> Can't keep your name out of their mouth. Know you Doesn't know you, but obsessed with your life. And bystander, shall sitting back and watching it all happen, not standing up for someone being hurt. Bottom of the deck is Earth Angel. Someone with someone good and pure with honest intentions, kind hearted, and keeps it real. <laughs> okay, Libra, this is like clear. Somebody is dealing with a fan of yours okay and they're they're not doing shit about it they're not they're not standing up for you they're not child this reading will piss me off let's see <laughs> let's see here for some of you this person lives with this person they have a home some sort of stability security that's why they're not leaving for some of you i, I don't know but let, let's see yeah ten of swords a complete betrayal This shit is fucking embarrassing. It's like, for real. What's what's moving in reverse? Like, every day something crazy comes out in these fucking readings. Like, it's so clear. What's moving in reverse? Child. What's moving in reverse there? Why is this in reverse? The temperance. Sagittarius, and we have the full in reverse. Yeah, I feel like your spirit team, Libra, is protecting you. Something, yeah, the devil, something is just very toxic. So I feel like your spirit team has stepped in you. The divine has uh, stepped in for you, I meant. The divine has intervened in something. Because whoever this is right here, now they're just a big-ass distraction. Could be an Aquarius, doesn't have to be. But that full in reverse, this talks about, like, this could be, like, fear of a new beginning, fear of leaving something behind, um making reckless decisions okay behaving childishly like somebody is childish all right this could be like a distraction too somebody like i said yeah somebody now all they are is a distraction because they're not moving away from something or whatever what's the fool in reverse yeah, the two of swords. Somebody's refusing to do something. What's the fool in reverse with the two of swords? Someone can have a Libra moon. Yeah, knight of swords in reverse. Ciao. Mm. For some of you, you're being protected from a situation because someone here is quite violent. They can have some sort of criminal background here. And I don't know if somebody, somebody's in denial about it or they just don't want to see that this is who they're dealing with. This could be, you could be the earth angel here with the temperance. You could have Sag in your chart somewhere, Libra. But you could be the earth angel here. I feel like you've been trying to help somebody out of something, save somebody from something. You were brought into their life as some sort of blessing, but this person here acts like they know everything. 
with the Knight of Swords in reverse. They have some sort of inferiority or superiority complex. Or this could be this twin sister of yours, this doppelganger, <laughs> okay? Could be a Gemini or another Libra or Aquarius, air sign energy. Somebody is a bully. They're very like um, aggressive and forceful. Okay, somebody here, they missed an opportunity with you. I feel like they feel quite trapped or they just don't have what it takes to stand up for themselves. They are a follower. This person is a follower here with this Knight of Swords in reverse. And I feel like they got distracted and thrown off their path. Okay, whoever this is that is dealing with a fan of yours. What's the temperance? Yeah, two of cups in reverse. Yeah, somebody, for some of you, somebody is like abusive, child. But this could be you breaking up with someone or leaving something behind. Someone could have a Cancer Venus. What's this temperance with the two of cups? I feel like you and somebody are no longer like, yeah, the star. Like y'all not, y'all, you and this person, there's disharmony. Y'all not seeing eye to eye because, um... I was going to say y'all are no longer compatible with each other, especially energy wise, energetically wise, because you've healed or you're healing. Definitely, you guys are very, you could be very spiritual. You could definitely be a healer. I feel like you were sent to help heal this person and they kind of like discarded you kind of threw you to the, the wolves here. Yeah, strong Aquarius with the star and the fool. I don't know what to say. Somebody's refusing to let go of some sort of abuse that happened to them. If it's if they're not in the current situation, they are just making reckless moves and decisions because they're refusing to um, heal, do the healing work. And that's why you and this person are now incompatible. Y'all can't do shit together. And spirit is protecting you from them because they don't want to do the fucking work. So you and this person now have some sort of rocky relationship. I feel like they could have put you in um, some sort of third party situation where they had to choose between you and somebody else. And they chose somebody else. That threw them completely off. What's the twin sister? Three of Pentacles. <laughs> What's the twin sister with the three of pentacles? Eight of pentacles. I was going to say, this person could actually work with you. It could be a Capricorn or Virgo. Or you got that in your chart. Or they could work where you work at. Y'all could be in the same company, the same field, whatever. But this person here is learning. They learn from your ass. Three of pentacles, eight of pentacles. One, two, three, four on the clock. But I don't. they could never be you here, Libra, because for one, I feel like you've mastered something within yourself. You continuously work on yourself. And it's about your internal. It's not even about how you look or anything like that. I feel like you could possibly look good as well with this naked person right here. Like, a lot of people could admire you. Like, you're a muse for a lot of people. You're very inspiring. Okay? But this person here, they, they, could, they don't have the, the qualities that you have or anything like that. Like, y'all are two totally different people. I feel insulted. Or you could be feeling insulted. Like, this is an insult. Because I don't... Page of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Mm. Counterpart energy. What's the... Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles is like learning from your past mistakes. You do the inner work. You master something within yourself and you're very creative. You work very, very hard here. Yeah, look, Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What's the Three of Pentacles? Ace of Pentacles. Yep, Nine of Cups. Some of y'all are definitely seen in the public eye. You do have some sort of status, fame, recognition, whatever. But I feel like you do a lot of internal work here. You just focus on yourself. The reason why you're moving forward in your career and in your own life is because you do the inner work and you just focus on you. You don't mind other people's business. It's like something that this bitch does not do. They do the exact opposite. So, someone can have a Pisces Jupiter. This could definitely be some sort of like new work opportunity or new, new solid foundation. For some of you guys are moving, you are getting a new home here. You could be going into new partnerships, okay? But I feel like your wishes and your dreams are coming true with this Nine of Cups. Mm-hmm. 
You're very comfortable. Like, you're good. You're unbothered. What's this Eight of Pentacles? Somebody, this person. Yeah, the King of Cups. What's this Eight of Pentacles with the King of Cups? Could be a Scorpio. Yeah, the world. Some of you guys, you guys are working closely with your ancestors and your spirit guide. This King of Cups could be a spirit guide. You get, if you do something, for some of you guys, I don't know where you work or what you do, but you you could do something spiritual, okay? You get messages directly from your, your spirit team, and you could definitely have some sort of online presence. Like, I feel like you feel whole and complete within yourself. You could have a business online or whatever this is, but you have a protector here, for sure. I feel like this person here, if, if this is um, your twin sister's quote unquote um, ex, I mean, that, that person that they with or the person that puts you in the third party, if this is their ex or whatever, the person that want to be like you, they're mad that I feel like you and this person have some sort of connection or whatever, obviously. But yeah, I mean, there's a new beginning starting. And a cycle closing out and your spirit team is helping you to do it. Definitely a new beginning with your career, your money. This could be a new stream of income or you could be just honing in on more talents that you have. Okay. A skill that you have working on something that you, that you have. Whatever it may be. Ciao. Somebody here is somebody here admires something that you do. They love something that you do. And that's why this person they want to be like you. This doppelganger. What's a fan? <laughs> the death card, Scorpio strong. What's a fan with the death card? Mm, judging in reverse. Scorpio again. A lot of Scorpio. A lot of Scorpio. Hi, honey. Hi. You got Aries Leo Sage too. What are you doing? I I wish this vlog I asked you guys get my my food vlog yesterday. Yeah, give me a minute. Let me do this reading. Okay. Okay. Um Yeah, this the, the judgment in reverse, somebody there's a lot of malicious gossip too. This could be somebody that falsely accused you, accused you of some shit. What? I, I did a read that I read the the flies. There is no fries. Ain't no fries. Let, let me do this reading, please. Oh. You're not gonna eat that. Not not just just wait until I'm done. Okay. Um. Yeah, this judgment in reverse, this talks about like indecisiveness, lack of self-awareness. Somebody's getting bad karma. Because I feel like you're just done with the situation as a whole. This person that, that chose your twin sister over you or whatever the fuck this is, you're just done dealing with it. There's a lot of gossiping going on here. This person just cannot stop talking about you. They will not stop talking about you. Somebody's a loser. What's this judgment in reverse? They're really, they're a real like peasant. What's the judgment in reverse? Ten of Pentacles. Somebody could have falsely accused you of um, breaking up some sort of marriage or relationship. They feel like you're the cause of it, but bitch, I feel like you were sent in this person's life for them to get the fuck away from your raggedy ass. So if the relationship is broken up with, bitch, it's meant to be that way. <laughs> like you're an earth angel. You, you do that kind of work. You're meant to help heal and guide other people. What the fuck? What's this judgment in reverse with the Ten of Pentacles? Somebody here... Yeah, the Queen of Swords. Mm hmm. The Hierophant. You got Taurus, Gemini, Libra in your chart. I mean, well, yeah, obviously. Yeah, some of you guys are definitely public speakers or you speak out or something like that. For some of you, somebody is going through a divorce. They feel like you're the cause of this. There could be somebody talking about whatever it is that you do for work, but they try to do the same shit you do. It's like, bitch, you need to figure out which side you're on. I feel like you're in your purpose, too, with this Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Swords. Whatever it is that you're meant to do, you do it. Whatever has been passed down to you through your bloodline, your lineage, 
you're doing whatever whatever it is that you're meant to do and somebody is 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 gossiping or spreading rumors or like I said, they're accusing you of some sort of raggedy ass relationship that them and that masculine had. It's it was raggedy anyways. It's like before I even came along and I didn't even know for some of you, you didn't even know anything about this fucking person. And so that's masculine called their ass coming towards you. They did something reckless. They did something reckless. What's this Ten of Pentacles? Someone could have a Virgo Mercury. They put you in some shit that you ain't had no business being in. Yeah, four of swords in reverse. You're awakened fully. Or you're you're going through some sort of awakening. Yeah, four of swords in reverse is definitely like rejoining the world again. Mental strength. You're very mentally strong. All right, and I feel like you speak up and you speak out. Okay, you stand up for yourself. Leave Jupiter here with the four of swords. Give me a, what's this ten of pentacles with this four of swords in reverse? Yeah, look, page of pentacles in reverse. Somebody here's a cheater. <laughs> They're a cheater. This is some sort of unworkable plan too. Something didn't go right. And I'm also getting somebody here is doing dark magic. Or they're watching you obsessively through some sort of divination practices that they do. You're a beast at whatever you do, Libra. Some of y'all are really clear. So yeah, the tower with the devil. You clear some sort of toxicity out of your bloodline. Or something is being exposed about this bitch doing this magic on you. I'm also getting the, whoever this is that was supposed to be coming towards you, they procrastinated on giving you this fucking offer because they felt like they didn't need your help or something. Like they, they didn't want to be told something. Child. This is the four swords is like somebody refusing to seek help or get the help that they need. Their plan to what? Ruin your reputation or talk shit failed. So now I feel like they're trying to save face. Yeah, three of swords, five of cups. Somebody's sad. Both of their asses, really. Both of them are sad. Mm. What's the queen of swords? Something here didn't work and now they ass getting karma so they're mad at you about it. They try to definitely i don't know if they try to sacrifice you or like steal some sort of gift that you have obviously if they're trying to be like you but they definitely wanted to keep somebody stuck with them and it might have worked because they might still be over there but that shit whatever this is that they try to do to you didn't fucking work you're too you're too strong-minded yeah look the magician and the everything is fine card somebody was hexing and cursing and doing all kind of shit what's the queen of swords yeah, the hangman. Yeah, you're, you're too awakened here. You can cut right through the bullshit here. The veil is very thin for you. <laughs> you got a Pisces in your chart somewhere. Yeah, the hangman is you releasing, letting go, or you shift, you shift your perspective here. You're not one track minded. You don't really um look at things one way. You see both sides of the situation. Definitely that's Libra energy. For sure. You could have Libra in your chart somewhere. Or I'm talking to a... You could be a different sun sign, moon sign, and rising. You could have Libra somewhere else in your chart like mine. I have a Libra Jupiter in the first house. So that that really stands out for whatever reason. Maybe because it's in the Jupiter. I don't know. And it's in the first house. So I don't know. But I feel like I'm talking to a cross watcher or there's two Libras here. You got Libra highly aspected and somebody else does. Yeah, what's the bystander? Six of Pentacles, Taurus Moon, what's bystander with the Six of Pentacles and the Empress? <laughs> Somebody breadcrumb the Empress here. We got Taurus here, Libra, yeah. The Six of Pentacles, that's equal give and take reciprocity. I feel like that's what you're demanding from someone or just demanding in general because you pulled your energy back you're in love with yourself at this point and you will forever be i feel like you helped this person out you gave this person for some of you, you gave somebody some money or you helped them out because you cared about them the empress with the six of pentacles and they stabbed you in the back with this damn loser that talks shit about you 
yeah, left you out in the cold, abandoned you. <laughs> Child, what's the Six of Pentacles? Uh, right here. The King of Pentacles. Taurus. What's this Six of Pentacles with the King of Pentacles? Five of Swords. So I feel like you helped this person out where they needed to be helped at. I feel like that's why this shit is over with. It's done. You were Earth Angel in somebody's life. I feel like they betrayed you. Somebody here was definitely like bullying you or something like that or talking shit or whatever. But I feel like you defeated them here. Some of you guys do have a successful business here. With this King of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. But I feel like for some of you, this person got help from you just to go give it back. Go give it to this person at one point. Ciao. What's this? Um, who this King of Pentacles with this Five of Swords? Mm, yeah, somebody ain't got no fucking backbone. Seven of Wands in reverse. This could be who this person is married to that they give support to. They help or something like that. Mm, mm, mm. Leo Mars here with the seven of wands in reverse. That's like somebody being burnt out, burnt out, someone here failing to compromise with you. I feel like you've lost respect for this person. Seven of wands in reverse is like having lack of morals. <laughs> you you surrender this. What's this? What's the Empress? Somebody here, they don't they they don't stand up for themselves. I feel like they're being used as a money machine. Somebody is a bank to this other person. Okay. Or they get help. They get some they gain some sort of stability from this other this person that's talking shit about you. It's something like that. They traded you in for some cheap chump change or whatever they say that they feel like is so that so much better than you or what you got going on. Like that's that's crazy. What's the Empress? Very I'm trying to hurry up and get off this because I, I don't like it. What's the Empress? Yeah, Eight of Wands. What's the Empress with the Eight of Wands? The Knight of Wands, Sagittarius. Yeah. <laughs> this person could have been bullied into doing something to you or something like that. Or saying something or acting like, you know, being very in and out to hurt you. I feel like somebody here wanted to see you hurt because they're in competition with you. For some of you, this person knew you before this person even came in your life. This, this masculine... They just didn't know that this masculine was trying to get with you until they found out about you. <laughs> Somebody is sloppy. Well, this is a mess, Libra. I ain't gonna lie. But this person was definitely in and out of your life, very passionate. They could be very nice looking, but they're a hoe. Whoever this is is a hoe and they're nasty inside. But I feel like this is you more so. You set yourself free, Libra. You're, you've done the inner work. You set yourself free. You're going towards whatever you're passionate about, whatever you desire. Some of y'all are traveling. You're moving. You're getting the fuck. But this Eight of Wands could be some sort of uh, communication from someone. Or I'm just getting the storyline about what this person did. Very, very disgusting. Lady God is feminine and onion tears. I bet. I bet somebody is in tears. <clears throat> Spirit initiation. Sugar. Sweetness. Familiar. Guardian. Ancestors. Yeah, period. Remembrance. <laughs> I told you your spirit team is heavy here. Like, you have somebody watching over you specifically. Embolic. Awakening. Lord God, masculine. Pentacle, respect. Wiccan, read, ethos. Air, imagination. And spell, manifestation. Bottom of the deck, yeah, onion tears, mandrake, and passive seaweed prediction. 
cumin, faithfulness, clothes, gossip, <laughs> squaring mirror, shadow, sage, purification. Yeah, somebody's doing a lot of black magic in the form of like running their fucking mouth. This person, <clears throat> there's a masculine here that's supposed to be initiated or they were being initiated. And for some of you, this person here was being initiated into some sort of cult or coven. They were bribed to do something or they were told to do something if they wanted success, money, recognition, something like that. But you have, you're, you're respected in the spiritual realm. They ain't nobody going, this, this person here, they were trying to harm you. Could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Let's read, um... Ancestors, let's see, Cheryl. Ancestors of blood and bone from earth you have to you have to spirit flown. Ancestral lines now heal at last, exactly, and break free from chains of the past. This magic is work with harm to none, so mote it be, there it is done. The obstacles you are experiencing are connected to the past. You're holding on way too tightly. Now is the right time to finally let go. Remembering those who have walked before you and understanding their ways will help you release any hurts and pains. Healing ancestral lines will enable you to break free and step into the freedom your soul earns for to be whole and complete. Remembrance asks you to honor the ancestors for those who live their lives, trusting in, recognizing and interacting with the spirits of the land and living in accordance with the magical law of nature. Call upon their wisdom to assist you in awakening to the magic of the old ways of the days when nature was respected and the natural balance in all things was ensured. Remember, too, who you are and where you have come from and honor yourself for never giving up as you walk in the footsteps of the ancestors. Wow. So it says, which is foresight. You have a strong ancestral lineage. Never forget who's played a big part in your life. Light a candle in remembrance of the ancestors. Someone from your past turns up. You are washed over by a deceased loved one. Yeah, resolve a past life issue. <laughs> I feel like you did. You did resolve a past life issue already. Definitely somebody that passed over is watching you for sure. And they were very, very spiritual. <clears throat> you're definitely going into some sort of, you're being initiated spiritually. This could be a man spirit guy watching over you. It doesn't have to be. What's um <clears throat> by the Wiccan read? I'm reading the I'm reading the Wiccan read ethos. By the wicked read you must, in perfect love and perfect trust, was sent out must return. By these words live, study, and learn. This magic is work with harm to none, so mote it be, there it is done. Mm. You are not one for sticking to the rules. In fact, you struggle when faced with that which you must adhere to. You have a natural rebellious streak which has led you into trouble, but honor that side of you for it makes you all the more wonderful. However, as a working witch, it is vital that you have integrity in all that you do. At all times must you follow the wake and read. You can rest assured that it was not put in place to spoil your fun, but to safeguard all magical practitioners from any harm to themselves and to others. You will find that the wake and read is a positive instructional to live by and promises a way of life that's in tune with the balance of nature and perfect love and perfect trust. You can be confident that nothing you do will come back and bite you when you live accordingly by the ethos of the wicked read and by the law of three and ye harm none do as ye will yeah somebody you have a spirit guy protecting you from some sort of witch for some of you this this person that want to be like you or whatever that's trying to steal your gifts because they ain't got shit they're trying to take that shit from you and keep it for them damn selves and by doing some sort of work on you you're being protected by a familiar <laughs> you're too respected in the spiritual realm and you have every right to fucking return to sender they ass. Just period. Which is foresight. Raise your standards. Adopt some ethics. Understand the importance of the threefold law and principle of cause and effect. Live by the wicked read. It will change your view of the world. Your situation is a result of past, past actions. Open your heart and trust. So it says wicked and read re revealed. Great advice has been received through this wise words written through the wise words written in different forms throughout history. 
The Wiccan read helps us to understand how to act wisely with all. It's important to abide by this law and follow it to the letter in all avenues of life. But what you give out comes back to you. Yeah, something's returning. You're protected with this pentagram right here. <laughs> you're, you're too protected. Your ancestors, you got a familiar here. You're being initiated spiritually. You, you can have a masculine here or masculine. I don't know. <laughs> I don't. Child. Give me a card for Libra, sir. Number 17, solar flares activate. Bottom of the deck is number 11, Aquarius. 17 is here. That is Aquarius. A strong. Go watch Aquarius, maybe. Okay, yeah. Retrograde review. Saturn structure. Libra violence. There you are. Apollos, Athena, think. Square slash semi square. Quincinux. Quincinux. Or whatever. Tension. Capricorn, achieve. Let's see. Mm. So it says the sun's surface is always rolling. A flare can flash brightly on the surface or become a coronal mass ejection, many times the size of the earth that shoots out charged particles. When these particles head towards earth, not only are our electronics disrupted, but also our politics heat up as we question old systems and grow hungry for new answers. The volume turns up, turns up on an astrological activity. High peaks of solar activity were recorded around the French Revolution, the American Revolution, and during the mid-1960s, times when people fought the status quo and sought revolutionary change. So for your action, it says change is in the air. A flare of energy supports your work. The mood is restless, sparky, sparky, revolutionary, and curious. People are hungry for change. It's not the time to be quiet, but to be fast on your feet. Solar flares magnify the energy on any other on any other cards you pull. When the sun is storming, our social and political world activates, revolutionary change manifests, and trees grow faster in the forest. Aim carefully because a solar flare, flare brings momentum, not thoughtfulness, that you, that you have to provide. A calm metaphysical perspective may not be easy, but you can bring that in to create balance and longevity. What you build during a solar flare may be hot and fervent, but not necessarily long-lived. To turn an idea or a love affair into something permanent, like a business plan or a partnership, will take conscious effort. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> what? Challenge. Tempers flare along with the sun. You can scorch yourself with too much passionate action and not enough emotional sensitivity if you are not mindful. For your gift. It says the sun is sending extra voltage and inspiration your way, so use it wisely. Feel the heat in the situation, the passion and the people involved. Then balance that fire by adding water's comp compassion, the thoughtfulness of air and the logistics of earth to turn that inspiration into reality. We have air here, imagination. Some of y'all have done some sort of spell work or something. It's working. I feel like all you got to do is call on your ancestors for help and honey, they're there. As soon as you say something, you ain't even got to do no spell work. But I mean, it could definitely enhance what you're trying to do for some of you somebody is doing spell work on you they like doing heavy spell work on you okay mm. so I, I don't know libra but this is your reading child very crazy reading but this is what it was okay like comment subscribe turn your notification bell on press the all button so you guys won't miss any of my readings and i'll talk to you all later bye